More couples today are finding roadblocks when it comes to having children. For those affected by infertility, receiving laboratory assistance can be more than an hour away, but that will change after today. Sadie Ohl joins us in the studio with more on this story. Sadie? Tom, just in time for National Women's Health Week, the Wabash Valley now offers an IVF fertility center. Local Dr. Rizwan Malik collaborated with Union Hospital and the Wabash Valley Surgery Center for this exciting new addition. A new door is now open for couples in the Wabash Valley. So when you really look at our general population, 15% of the population will have problems with difficulty getting pregnant. Dr. Rizwan Malik is a practicing OBGYN. He's been in the community for 15 years and has helped many couples receive initial assistance when it comes to fertility issues. But when it came down to a point where, you know, those, uh, those initial measures did not work, it, uh, the people had to travel, uh, you know, over an hour to two hours uh, drive to get those services. Now, receiving laboratory assistance for egg fertilization can happen in the valley. Designing a state-of-the-art IVF or in vitro fertilization center at the Wabash Valley Surgery Center has been in discussion for some time. Now, it's open for business. Women are fearful when they come in to see us, and it's nice to have an advocate for them. OBGYN nurse Marcy Aldridge is that advocate. Every day she sees couples struggling with pregnancy challenges, whether it be men or women. So having somebody in their corner as an advocate that can really get them through the process is going to be very, very beneficial. Dr. Malik says it's this type of care combined with the nation's best facility equipment that draws crowds. We have patients coming from multiple states away. We have patients coming from Oklahoma. We have some coming from Kentucky, Illinois. So we're receiving calls. We're treating these patients. After an IVF procedure, it takes several weeks for fertilization to occur. The eggs are monitored in the lab, and the healthiest embryos are chosen to insert into the mother's uterus. Sadie, I know the center is right across from Union Hospital, and it's having a ribbon cutting right now, actually. What can the public expect from the open house there tonight? While the public is welcome to the event, there will be a virtual tour playing so they can see inside the laboratory area and receive information on the center. All right, good story. Thank you, Sadie. Six million people in Illinois are now registered for that state's organ and tissue donor registry. The Secretary of State's office worked to raise awareness about organ and tissue donation in April, which was National Donate Life Month. Secretary of State Jesse White says those efforts had an impact on the increase in registration. There are about 5,000 people in Illinois waiting for a tissue or organ transplant. Illinois residents.